Welcome to Fish Clips. Let's talk about Detroit River Tackle Shops. Local shops are going to carry the best selection of tackle for their area, and the shops near the Detroit River are no different. As far as I can tell, you got nine shops to choose from. Let's go through them, starting at the top. Moe's Bait. Big Moe's Bait and Tackle. Motor City Bait and Tackle. Andy's Tackle Box. Zubox Bait Tackle Marine. Ditnet Live Bait and Tackle. Trenton Lighthouse. The Bait and Tackle Box. Bottom Line Bait and Tackle. First up, Moe's Tackle Shop. Moe's can be found on the Upper East Side. Makes it a convenient stop if you're fishing out of St. Jean's or Alter Road. Moe's is located at 14712 East Jefferson in Detroit. It's a small pit stop style tackle shop that sells live bait and mostly the things you need to jig the river. There is no parking lot so only street parking will be available. Posted hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. Their Facebook and Google map link can be found in the description below. Phone number as well. Big Moe's Tackle Shop located four miles southwest on Jefferson. The address is 6440 East Jefferson in Detroit. Big Mo says they'll be stocked up on your live bait, minnow, crayfish, crawlers, and leeches. They also have your typical Detroit River jigging gear. Posted hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. Find their phone number, Facebook, and Google Map link in the description below. Continuing our way southwest down the riverfront, on the other side of downtown, we'll find Motor City Bait and Tackle. The address is 5648 West Fort Street in Detroit. There's not a lot of info on this place. I've never been, and there's virtually nothing on the internet. No social media, no website. From Google reviews, it looks like they keep minnows in stock. There is no parking lot, only street side parking available. Posted hours are seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can find their Google map link and phone number in the description below. Just outside Southwest Detroit, is Andy's Tackle Box, 17485 Dix Road in Melvindale. Seems to be a well-stocked store. They have crawlers, no minnows though. People do like the abundance of tackle making supplies in the flying titan section. It looks like they do rod and reel repair as well. It has a nice parking lot, but you might find it tough to get the boat in and out with only one exit. There are a couple alleyways that may be easier to deal with when trailering, or the White Castle next door has a large parking lot if needed. Posted hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday, they're closed. Find their Google Map link, Facebook link, and phone number in the description below. Heading even further west, about seven miles off the riverfront, we have Zubox Bait Tackle and Marine at 22985 Van Bourne Road in Taylor. This is the farthest shop from the river in this list, but with a convenient location off I-94, you may find it useful. They do sell live bait including minnows, crayfish, and crawlers. If the lot isn't loaded with boats, they are a marine repair shop, then pull through parking is available for a few rigs. Posted hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday, 10 to 3 on Sunday. You can find their phone number, Google Map link, and Facebook link in the description below. Making our way back to the river, we have Dipnet Live Bait and Tackle. The address is 4464 West Jefferson Avenue in Ecorse. It's located right at the corner of Jefferson and Southfield across the street from Riverfront Park. The location makes it very convenient for a lot of people making their way to the river. Great selection of jigs and plastics. They don't have a parking lot, but street parking is available and public parking exists not too far away. If you are creative, there are some pull through parking opportunities if you don't mind a short walk. Posted hours are seven to six, seven days a week. Again, you can find the Facebook and Google Map link in the description as well as the phone number. Next up, we have Trenton Lighthouse Bait and Tackle at 3021 West Jefferson Avenue in Trenton. They have a good selection of jigging supplies and carry live bait as well, including minnows. It's located just north of Elizabeth Park Boat Launch. They got a big parking lot considering the location in a subdivision near Elizabeth Park and near the riverfront. Pull through parking is available. Posted hours are 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, Saturday is 7.30 to 2.30, and Sunday 8 a.m. to noon. Phone number, Google Map, and Facebook links in the description below. The Bait and Tackle Box, located at 4088 West Jefferson Avenue in Trenton. 
They carry what is popular on the river, and they're located right at Grosseal Parkway, which is the road to Elizabeth Park Boat Launch. It's a huge parking lot and shouldn't be a concern regardless of your total length. The Bait and Tackle Box is only open on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. That brings us to the last one on our list, Bottom Line Bait and Tackle, 32660 West Jefferson Avenue, Brownstown Township. It's located right at the entrance of Lake Erie Metro Park. Uh, they do have a good supply of the typical things you would use to fish the river or the lake. They have a selection of live bait, including minnows. They have a huge parking lot. It's of no concern. The posted hours are seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. They do have a website. I put the link below. It doesn't seem to be updated very often. The Google Map link and their Facebook link is also there in the description as well as their phone number. There you have it. A few details about the tackle shops you may find useful when you're fishing the Detroit River. We talked about the hours they have posted, but be cautious. These hours are not updated with any consistency and many shops close in the winter. So call ahead so you don't show up on the wrong day or the wrong time. Also, just because a shop usually carries a product or bait like minnows, they are dependent on their suppliers and may not always be stocked with what you're looking for. If you are counting on something in particular, best give them a call and confirm. Any considerate person would call after 10 a.m. Once again, if you find this content useful, click the buttons down below that indicate that you find this content useful. See you next time.